Thank you so much for joining us on a very special episode of Damn, That's a Good Murder. Carla, thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Now, on the night of June 3rd, did you or did you not kill your husband, Tito? Absolutely, unequivocally, most certainly, uncontrollably and emphatically, even a little whimsically, no. Okay, right, but Did then... we have our problems? Sure. Okay, but then there Do was Do a also... lot of couples have problems? Yeah. Okay, but then... Does that mean one of them's gonna shoot the other one? Okay, yeah, sometimes. Usually the husband. But does that mean that I put a 45 Magnum in Tito's mouth with the trigger cocked and made him simulate oral sex with it? A couple times, sure. Yeah, but that was Tito's favorite game. He was a gamer. He was a gamer. You didn't know that? Okay, I mean, was well he any then. good? But <laughs> That's none of your goddamn business. But I didn't even ask. You never ask another woman about her husband's gaming competence. Okay. But do I miss my little gamer? Yeah, I do. Oh my God. I miss Tito so much. I mean, was he perfect? Not even close. <laughs> and did he piss me off sometimes? Yeah, you bet your fat Cuban ass he did. And did he piss me off that night? No, actually, no. But did he break my heart? Yeah. Was I as shocked as anyone to walk in on him with our neighbor Larry playing his favorite game only without the 57 Magnum? Yeah, I sure was. Did I go get the 57 Magnum? Of course I did. Would I shoot them both all over again and bury Larry in the backyard because no one's even noticed Larry's gone? Ooh, good question. No, yeah, I definitely would. You're under the arrest for the murder of your husband, Tito. Oh my God, yes, yeah, journalism? Yeah, fuck journalism. Larry you called it in. This is, I cannot believe this. Do I have the right to remain silent? That's yeah, right I do. Me. I definitely do. Please join us next week on a very special episode of Damn, That's a Good Murder. <laughs>